Hello, citizens of my race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreck, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas, but of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my- We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! This could be a problem. Take care of it. So, you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny! You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Greetings, Executive Chairman Drek. Dispense with the pleasantries, Lieutenant. My sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet to be harvested for our new world. Yes, sir. As you can see, everything is moving along as planned. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointment well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir? You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. <laughs> back so soon? Oh, you're talking to me. I'm not in the habit of talking to myself, you buffoon. Did you get rid of them? Yes. No. Well, I, I had this plan and I thought... You thought? You thought? I do the thinking around here, you slug brain idiot. I simply needed you to eliminate those two nuisances before they could cause any real trouble. But I wanted to... Do you still want to be the highly paid spokesman for my planet? Yeah. Then the next time I send you to do a job, I want results! Now get out of my sight! Hello once again, fellow blog. I hope this message finds you well. As many of you know, our home planet is no longer habitable. We've abandoned our factories, our laboratories, and our happy lives because of the encroaching pollution, leaving much behind. Fortunately, the nearby planets will supply us with all we need to create our new home, which is nearing completion. Once our scientists locate the ideal orbit, our new world will be perfect. So reserve your space now. Prime locations are filling up fast. Good day. Hello again, everyone. Supreme Executive Chairman Drek here to fill you in on our progress. We have now found the perfect orbit for our planet, one which will allow for the optimum temperature all year round. However, there is a planet now occupying that orbit, and sadly, for its few insignificant inhabitants, it must be destroyed. That's why we've created this! 
the Planet Buster Maximus, a device capable of blowing an entire planet into subatomic particles. We're quite proud of it. Here's how it works. We attach the Planet Buster to this ship, fly it into orbit around the planet, and let it go. Kaboom! <laughs> quite ingenious, really. Once our trained professionals put the finishing touches on our new planet, everything will be complete. Thank you. Goodbye. Men, you are about to embark on a very dangerous mission. We will be launching a heavily armed surprise attack from our new moon base against a completely unarmed planet. Actually, that doesn't sound too dangerous. <clears throat> Nevertheless, your orders are simple. Destroy anything that moves. Steal the power generators from Gorda City. Then, destroy anything that doesn't move. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, have fun. It is time to begin your new assignment. Ah, a photo op by your shiny new shuttle. Terrific idea. Oh, you really are an idiot. What? You are to take that shuttle to the moon base and ambush those two miscreants when they arrive. Oh, yes. <laughs> Who are they again? Those two! Oh, of course. <laughs> there is just one problem. I'm, uh... Too washed up for ground combat? True. That is why I will be loading you my Starfighter. You can still fly, can't you? It's settled then. You will acquire the Starfighter once you get to the moon. Screw this up, and the endorsement deal is off! <gasps> but that would ruin me! You wouldn't. <laughs> Try me. Well, I guess Quark didn't eliminate them. <laughs> How observant of you. Thank you, sir. How if you were only so diligent in doing your own job? Yes, sir. Since our new planet is nearly finished, we need a plan to remove the world that is occupying our selected orbit. This time, it must be absolutely foolproof. Time is wasting. This is starting to become annoying. I'm not sure why I bother with you incompetent idiots. All right, I'll try this one more time. You are my most elite troops. I'm sending you down to the planet's surface to destroy those troublemakers. Now go! Oh, and if you have to destroy Gatatron to get rid of them, so be it. My fellow Blob, our synthetic world is now fully functional and ready for habitation. However, there is one small obstacle in our way. This pathetic lump of a planet. Due to some blunder of fate, it happens to occupy the galaxy's most perfect orbit. But no more. Behold, the Deplanetizer! The most powerful laser ever created! Soon, we'll move the Deplanetizer into place just above the planet's surface. I will, of course, be on hand to press the button that will blow this mud ball to smithereens. No one will even miss it. See you then! Tonight on Blonde TV, the event you have all been waiting for, the total annihilation of an entire planet! Witness the power, the destruction, and the nothingness that follows. So join Ultimate Supreme Executive Chairman Drek as he pushes the button that ends one world and begins another. Then, stay tuned for the galaxy's funniest superhero bloopers, featuring Captain Quark. Hey! What the- <laughs> Imbeciles! After all the trouble you've gone through, you're about to die right where you started. <laughs> it's, it's so poetic. This is it, Clank. Let's get him! So, it has come to this. Once I step on this ignition switch, a countdown will commence. The end of which signals the destruction of your pitiful world. There must be another way to make a home for your people. You think that's what this is about? Who do you think polluted our last world? I did. This is about one thing and one thing only. Cash! <laughs> <laughs> 
And lots of it. You see, I've been paid for every square inch of my new world. Once the inhabitants move in, I will begin polluting this world as well. Then the whole thing starts all over again. Ah, brilliant. Why, you, you evil little... Save it, Clank. We have to stop that timer. Thank <laughs> you.